why did you decide to stay with Duck Dynasty? Well, that's easy to say why you stay with Duck Dynasty. To I have been with Duck Dynasty for several years now, and they are faith-based, solid people. So it was easy. It was a good, easy decision. Well, defending the Ducks, some sponsors of the hit show Duck Dynasty say they'll stick with Phil despite his controversial comments this week. The network has suspended him, and some groups are demanding a and &E drops the show. But, Jonathan, you say, let the free market handle this. Go ahead. Well, this is the free market at work, Eric. I mean, Phil has every right to say what he said, and he has every right to fire him, and sponsors have a right to either associate or not associate with him. There is no censorship here, as unfortunately I heard, I believe, Governor Palin and Senator Cruz talk about censorship. It only comes from government, not from private interactions. I happen to think that Phil's speech is probably going to end up hurting Phil. People will likely dis disassociate himself with these, uh, themselves with these types of remarks. To me, it feels a little bit like Jimmy the Greek Part 2, Eric. And I, I don't I'm think not it bodes sure, well John. Uh, honestly, John, I'm not sure. There seems to be a groundswell of support for Phil Robertson. In fact, the Facebook page had more likes than all of the enrollees on Obamacare put together. Uh, wait, let's go to you next. Um, they, people say, vote with your feet. Do you think they're going to vote with their feet? And by the way, what does that mean in this case? Does that mean uh, Duck Dynasty stuff they sell at Walmart is going to go down? Or does it mean that it'll actually go up? and they'll vote with their feet by turning the channel into something else other than A&E. Well, Eric, at the risk of, 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 of supporting my friend Jonathan, I, I think he's absolutely right. Look, he has the right to make these remarks. He can say anything he wants to. By the same token, the, the sponsor and the network has every right to, to fire him if they want to. Look, Martin Bashir on MSNBC, they got rid of him. They got rid of, uh, of uh, 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 the actor, the same thing. Alec if Baldwin. they don't like what you're saying, yeah, Alec Baldwin, thank you. If they, don't, if they don't like what you say, they have every right to say, hey, goodbye. And you have every right, if you want to, to say that. I believe this is a personal thing. If you have a personal interest in, in the, your morals, your politics, your religion, those are personal to you. If you want to express them, you've got to take the risk that somebody else is going to disagree. Oh, what, what about it, Richard? I have a hunch A&E is going to have to walk this back fairly quickly. I don't think so, and here's why. I have to agree with Wayne on this one. And this is that when you talk about capitalism and you talk about the market, you talk about the brand, and Annie's brand is this very wholesome, family-friendly brand, and comments like that don't really air as family-friendly. So therefore, even if networks decide to stay with Duck Dynasty, you have to understand, Phil is no longer there. He's suspended indefinitely for the horrible comments that he made. Well, uh, okay, Michelle, but however, they have a, a few episodes, what they call in the can means they'll continue to roll the next season. He's on, temp, uh, at least now, indefinite suspension. That may or may not change even before any of those future episodes air, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, they have all of these episodes that are planned for the next week, so they don't mind profiting off of it. Um, but the thing is, is like, the a and &E is a private company, right? So they can decide what they want to do. But the free market responds, and the free market is responding right now. Like you mentioned, the Facebook page has over a million likes of people saying to boycott a and &E. So people are not happy with this. So I think a and &E is actually going to have to change course. Right, right. Let's take a look. Pull up the full screen that shows Under Armour, one of the sponsors of the show. They're going to stick with Phil and stick with Duck Dynasty. They say, quote, we have no plans to change our current relationship. Mm -hmm. We are obviously aware of the situation and his comments are not indicative of Under Armour's views. Go ahead, Richard. Now, the, 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 the important point is it's the free market. Under Armour realizes Duck Dynasty is a very, very popular brand. They want to be involved yeah. in that, but they're distancing themselves from the comments. Not a bad idea, right? No, it's not a bad idea alone. I think Under Armour can continue to advertise on Duck Dynasty because after these canned episodes, Phil's no longer there, so they can still make profit. They can still key into that market without having to connect themselves with the horrible, disparaging comments of Phil. All right, Wayne, you're an advertiser. Let's play role play a little bit. You're an advertiser, advertising on, on Duck Dynasty, A&E, etc. What do you do? Do you stay with it or do you pull your ads? I think, Eric, I think it's a choice of the, how that company has positioned themselves in the marketplace. Obviously, if, a, if you're a company who has is, who is prided yourself on a certain kind of moral issue, you can't do, you can't support this. On the other hand, if you don't care and it doesn't have anything to do with it, yes, you could do that. But I, I don't think this is, a, this is one that should be like that. This is, this is a pure, purely personal choice. I think you either say Eric, as a company, hey, we don't I, like it, or on the other hand, we're going to support it. These, 
I would pull These them. advertisers knew what they were getting. It's not as if they just woke up and realized that this was what the show was like and the characters. People love Duck Dynasty because of the things they say. They say things that are off the cuff and kind of crazy off the cuff and out and there. Offensive are two and different so, things, Michelle, well, and you know it. Well, well okay, but let's hold on. Hold on. The, the very important part is okay. So AD makes a decision right now. They've decided to temporarily, at least for now, suspend Phil. The decision is made because they are looking at the gay community saying this is going to we're going to get blowback from the gay community so we're going to do this however does anyone think they were going to expect as much blowback they got they're getting from duck dynasty fans let me start with you john I, I don't even know if it's about the blowback, Eric. I, for, for me, I think that just like racism or any other bigoted ignorance, judging people based on non-essentials, like who do they love, is simply not only, I think it's immoral, I think it's also bad business. And again, I think you'll see that reflected on great people who are liking Phil and supporting him and advertisers as well. We'll have to see how it turns out. Right now, A&E doesn't want to be associated with a lot of these messages, and my sense is a lot of the other big advertisers will likely follow suit. Now, but I, allow me, and now maybe I'm not as, as, as tuned into it as everyone else is, but I'm understanding that Phil, after a rock bottom, he, his life went into a, a slide, he found Jesus, and that's what he was supposedly doing. He was reciting Bible verses. Am I wrong? Let me start with you, Michelle. Am I wrong on this? Am I seeing this in, improperly? Well, in, in, that, in that comment, yes, absolutely. He just was very inarticulate. But the comment about uh, African Americans was offensive, very offensive to the African American community. So they're right to want to distance themselves from that. All right, Richard, I tend to agree with Michelle. I think the African, the comments made about African about African Americans, about um, the LGBTQ folks, it's horrible argument, horribly offensive, and that's why at the end of the day, Duck Dynasty has been around for two, three years. A and E's been around for twenty. They know how to protect their brand. Clearly, Duck Dynasty doesn't. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. Coming up, a do-gooder serving up holiday cheer by leaving. Huge tips for Jesus, how these random acts of kindness are proving one myth about the group of Americans, which is...